Hey everybody, here we are and on the second installment of In Loving Color. I've got my fabulous 80s earrings on and today we are going to be coloring this beautiful butterfly. I like to talk about butterflies in the sense of redemption and how uh, great times of stress can bring about change. And so we are going to start today with some colors that you probably wouldn't want to put on a butterfly. And then we'll see how it goes and how we can redeem the picture. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to flip the camera around and we will uh, start to color. Here we go. All right. Hope everybody, hi Kelly, yay. All right, I'd love to see what you're working on tonight. Oh, it's nice doing this in the evening, isn't it? Ooh, I love this. All right, refresh my Facebook page here so I can see the comments on someplace other than my phone, because that's pretty small and the eyes are going. I didn't think it was gonna happen to me, but it did. All right. Okay. Oh, sorry again. Something went wrong on my Facebook page. All right. So I'm going to start with, with butterflies, you normally think of them as like bright, pretty colors. And, and if you've seen my work at all, you know I love bright colors. I am hardly subtle. And hi, Darlene. I'm happy to see you here, friend. Darlene is a colorer from way back, way back. And uh, so here we go. I'm going to start with this gray. Actually, I'm going to start with this dark green. Well, sometimes these, I mean, these can be really pretty colors, obviously. But I don't know if I would do this on a butterfly. This is one of the uh, pictures from Colors of Hope. And um, we have got, I can't figure out whether to keep my glasses on or off. I don't know if any of you all are in that stage of the game, but I sure am. But here's the thing with coloring is that it really, you can just take the pressure off yourself. You don't have to worry about every little thing you're doing. So much of this is actually, you know, doing the small motor skills so that it can help you focus, clear your mind. Work that part of your brain and give the part that may have a little trouble a rest. How is it in Texas tonight, Kelly? Is it still dreary there? We have had just a series of absolutely gorgeous days and today was no exception. little chilly. Does it get really, really, does it get cold where you are or is it just, uh, you know, mostly base, like a mild winter? I know you were in California for a while. That must have been nice. All right, now I'm just doing this dark gray in this really big spot. You're just coming on I'm talking about redemption. Sometimes you don't start something off so well, but that does not mean that it is a lost cause. 
And you're certainly never a lost cause. I know people feel that way sometimes. And I think it's sad that any human being should. And if anybody does, they should come on to my coloring parties here and let me tell them that they're not. Because I don't believe that about anybody. Been in the 80s, up and down like crazy. Isn't that wild when that happens? Everybody gets colds. Oh, Rhonda, hi. How's it going in Mississippi tonight? Are any of y'all coloring out there with me? a little sparkle oh I, well I finally invested in some new cheap markers y'all having those pipsqueaks that just kept running out on me and me having to grind them into the paper it was time but I've had them for over a year so I think that's pretty good snowstorm headed back east tomorrow oh my gosh Kelly yeah I've been hearing some weather reports it's been so mild here for um, Colorado, from what I'm hearing, that there uh, hasn't been nearly as much snow this year. So I guess maybe we brought that. <laughs> we brought the mild weather from Kentucky. Rainy in Kentucky tonight, Darlene says. Maybe a few snowflakes. Beautiful and sunny earlier. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Kentucky's one of those places that can change on you pretty quickly. It's nice. Right here, it's what's known as the uh, high desert. So we do not get a lot of precipitation. Lots of sun. Now that's good for the outlook, too. We've got, you know, spend some time in the sun. Get that vitamin D. That will really help you if you deal with depression and anxiety and those kinds of things. Because that's what we're doing here with our coloring. But getting out in the sun is, is massive, especially during the winter. Oh, Darlene, you're coloring with me. Can you post a picture when you feel like it? That would be so nice. All right, well, this is pretty, uh, to be honest, and I did not plan what I'm going to do to redeem this. So I'm up to any and all suggestions of what you think I should do next to the gray. We can do this together. That would be fun. So anybody have any suggestions of what kind of, let's turn this right side up, what kind of color they would like to see. And I've got lots of nice, more subtle colors now that I've got this new set. So not everything has to be just that pal kind of stuff that I normally do. Anybody? Anybody? All right. Well, you know what? I think then I'm going to go with very pale pink. Let's see what that does. Well, it's not that pale, but it is very pretty. Let's see what this is going to do. Sometimes from our darkest moments, our brightest, you know, the, the, the seeds that are planted in those dark times can bloom to some of our brightest opportunities. 
coloring would be one of those for me. I probably never would have gone into this had I not uh, gone through, you know, the pain of uh, a divorce. There's always a silver lining somewhere. McLeod is not here. She is at dance on Wednesday nights. She is working very hard at dance and has decided that that is her thing. And I'm real excited for her. She works very hard. All right, you know what? I think we have to redeem this pink, too. <laughs> I'm not really sure of this. All right, I'm going with some go. Oh, I don't know what to do, y'all. Ah, I'm not sure about this. I'm really not. Isn't that funny? <laughs> um, well, we'll see about... Oh, that's not going to be good. We'll do an orange, like a pale orange. I like pink and orange together. And again, you know, what we're doing here is it's not about the finished product. Some days it's not going to be all that you wanted it to be. But it's okay because you got in there and you did something and you got your small motor skills working along and that's a really good thing. And so the therapeutic effect is what mattered. Y'all... I don't know about this. Can we redeem this butterfly? I think we can. So do you all have any situations that happened in your life that seemed like it was tragic? You didn't know what you were going to do, and then it turned out for the best. A lot of times that happens with jobs. People are, uh, you know, let go in a position, and then what they go to was so much better than what they had. And uh, that's one way life seems to redeem itself. Okay, I'm going to take a little red. My last house I painted my ki kitchen cabinets real dark gray. That was awesome. I liked it. Oh, Jared! Hi from me and Ty! Yay! Hi, you guys. I'm so happy to... To see your name and know your face is right there at the other end of the internet. Oh, this... Well, y'all, what are we going to do here? I'm open to suggestions. I am open to suggestions of how we're going to redeem this butterfly. Let's see. All right, here we go. Nice grassy yellow green, and I think we have got it now. I love you too, Jared and Ty.
we went and had lunch today at a really funky little restaurant and we were invited there by a new friend in the area and I got this coconut shrimp soup and oh my goodness you all it was absolutely delicious and French bread was with it and I just tore off little pieces and dropped it in the soup it was wonderful The second tattoo I ever got was a butterfly. Oh, and my website's going to be up soon. So, yay! I've basically made it through almost 20 years without being truly part of, you know, the whole website thing. I had one for a while that was just kind of like, well, here's this book and here's that book. But this one is going to be great. It's, it's not going to be real complicated, but you will be able to buy my coloring book and, and other coloring books that I'm going to be offering myself that are basically going to be available for download. And you'll be able to get that, those there. It is www.lisajoysampson.com. I like the green, too. That pulled it together, didn't it? It absolutely pulled it together. I just bumped the camera. I know, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I was getting a little scared. And I was going to blame Ty because this theme for this show was her idea. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and give credit where it's due. But she did. She said, Mom, you should really start something that doesn't look quite like it should. And then talk about how you can, it doesn't matter that you can try things and figure it out and make it pretty because sometimes you know you do you get you put a color down and it is not even remotely what you thought it would be the cap is not quite the uh, the delightful thing you thought it was going to be these are also designed loosely especially the leaves off of um, Art Nouveau tiles and if you want to really uh, see some pretty things, get on Pinterest and just plug in Art Nouveau tiles. Now, a lot of times I do the background first, but today I did not. It's easy to see, wow, oh man, I'm really going outside the lines. <laughs> well, there you go. i got to redeem that leaf too. No, but it's easy to thank God and to be just grateful in general when we see what those hard times eventually uh, bring about. I have found that one of the keys to life, oh, hi, Terry. Thank you so much. I'm enjoying myself immensely. I hope everybody else is too. Let's see. Darlene says, I seem to have misplaced my markers. I have a grand total of three colors. This should be interesting. Yes, yes, yes. I can't wait to see what you come up with, Darlene. Um, but I have found, you know, that after however long a time it takes for the redemption to kick in and you can see the good, that has come out of whatever it is that seems so uh, bad and besetting. But you know what? For me, one of the keys that I have found in being a happier person, and I have searched very, I've been on a quest, and I, I looked at my Facebook page, I saw a memory, and it said a couple years ago, I want to be the happiest person you've ever met. And I do. And I am so much further along in that than I was at when I said that. So 
I am working hard and not working hard in the sense that this is some grueling thing, but I'm retraining my brain. And that just takes patience and perseverance to retrain your brain to stop thinking well, a lot of different things. Because we tend to train our brains to think in very negative ways, or we have been trained. I mean, gosh, look at Facebook. Talk about negativity. Oh, this is, I, this is turning out, y'all. And Darlene, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do a picture next week with just, a, you know, just several colors. And at one, one uh, time, I'm just going to pick one and show how you can color, not just with colors, but with, with pattern. So gratitude. Do you remember when Oprah, years and years ago, got people doing those gratitude journals? And um, I know that my general well-being is much happier and much more peaceful. And when I say happy, I'm not talking about like, woo, it's like a party every day. I don't mean that. I mean, you know, peacefulness inside, just an inner light, like a light. There's just a nice little light inside of you that knows that everything's going to be okay. I'm going to use the same green that I used on the butterfly. I'll just bring that in. So now what I do instead of, because it's not like my life is, you know, nothing, no challenges ever occur. I don't even like to use the term nothing bad occurs because I'm getting, getting to the point where I, um, I don't see life as good or bad. I see it as hard or easy. Oh, this is looking good, y'all. I'm pretty happy about this. I'm drinking a lemon ginger tea tonight and it's delicious all right I want to do a little bit of this green on this little fan here to incorporate that but I don't want to use a whole lot so here we go we'll just do the tips so now when challenges occur I say well what can I be thankful for about it right now and sometimes it's harder than others. <laughs> and sometimes the gratitude is, well, at least I've got the money to pay for this. Or at least I've got the strength to deal with it. Having the strength to deal with things is no small matter. There are a lot of people that suffer with chronic illness. And I have some friends that do, and I love them dearly. And, uh, but the women I know that suffer with chronic illness, I'm just going to say it, ladies, they're brilliant. They have minds and creative capacities. So, you know, whatever comes their way, they're... They, they have the uh, mental capacity to deal with it and the creativity to, to get through it because they do. They do get through it. All right, we're going to go with some of that pretty yellow gold. So in the midst of the situations that beset you, what can you be thankful for? Um, can you see what this might bring? I had my transmission go out uh, in December, 
And believe me, that is not something anybody wants to deal with. But I was really down on my car. I'm not going to lie. I was really down on it. I got it. I thought I was getting a good deal. And I've ended up putting twice as much as I have paid, as I paid for that car into it. And so, you know, I said, well, I'm not going to just dispose of this thing. I'm not just going to throw it away. I'm going to I'm going to take care of this little car cuz it would've been easy to have just gotten something else. So I had the transmission redone and the people were so nice that did it and and really did a good job. That's a long story that I will not bore you with. Um Someone put the lavender cap on the raspberry marker, Rhonda says. Right? Right? That's the thing. There we go. That's what happens. Um, and uh, do you know what happened? And I was grateful because, I mean, I was like, well, I've got the money. I can pay for this. So this is awesome. This, that's awesome. There's that. And I really love my little car now. Like, it totally changed my attitude about that thing. Isn't that interesting? I thought so. Um, and so there was a good thing that came out of that. And now I just zip around. It's just a little old CRV. But I'm really enjoying that thing now. Rhonda, I'd love to see what you're doing. So gratitude is huge in redeeming any situation. And I know that you can always think why there's nothing to be thankful for. Of course. I'm just suggesting to dig deeper. And you don't have to listen to a word I say. I'm just telling you what helps me. I like the way this is turning out. Uh, what do you all think? Let me see. Let's get some of this orange echoing up here. I don't know why these things made this made me think of it, but I thought of that um, the shoelace licorice. I used to love that stuff when I was a kid. Man, I would oh I would try find all different ways to eat it. You know, of course, like nibbling it up the string and then tying knot after knot after knot after knot. More pink, please. Yes. Okay. I've got just the spot. Do some pink down here. And let's do the pink here to bring that in. Thank you, Kelly. That's perfect. Kelly's daughter is a wonderful artist. She does beautiful, beautiful mandalas. I think we need to do all of these pink. Kelly, if you want to put up her Instagram page on um, in the comments, Feel free. So if if uh, you feel comfortable doing that, and other people can look at her work. And I'm not sure what to do down. I think I'll do the red down that body. And 
one more final little bit of pink. I'm going to put this here on this. Oh, here we go. All right, so now I'm going to gather, now that we've got this basic color palette here, um, I am going to gather the all the markers that I used. Uh, let's see. I did use this gray. Oh, good. Bell dot draws. That's an Instagram. You need to check her workout because it's absolutely lovely. It's so detailed. Oh my goodness. All right. So I think I've got all the colors. And oh, I don't know. I don't think I want to keep that white. So I'm going to add some red to this. That's perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's, it's, it's good enough for me. Um, all right. So then here's all the colors that I've used. So I'm going to go ahead and incorporate these into the, um, you know, into the border. This is, it's, it's interesting. Now, these are copies of my original drawings that I'm using on here because I don't have the actual book. And, um, you know, they were cleaned up. These, this is not a Photoshop copy. These are, this is what they look like originally. So um, you can see the different particularities that we've got on this drawing that will not be there on your copy when you get. All right, now I've got my color palette set out. And... I'm going to arrange them in like a more of a prismatic thing because that's my thing. Now we don't have blue, but since butterflies like to fly in the sky, I think I will do the background blue. Ooh, y'all, that's a pretty light blue. I haven't seen it yet because this is new. So let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, yes, yes, I love this. Beautiful color. Oh, Karen, hi. Yes, bring your coloring next time. When I started the practice of gratitude in general, you know, just, I call it my gratitude meditation. And I'll lay down in bed and fall asleep to my list of gratitude, things I was grateful for, for the day. And what I normally do is um, I work backwards. So I start out with like, I'm grateful for my soft bed. I'm grateful for my sheets. I'm grateful for my bedroom, a roof over my head, and, you know, whatever I had to drink before I went to bed, you know, and go back through, go back through the day. Who did I see? 
who, and you know, and then you remember the wonderful things that people, you know, how people came into your life that day and blessed you. And I thank, I, I thank God for the opportunities I had to bless others. If you can't give thanks for yourself, well, I mean, you were given the gift of life. You were given the gift of yourself. So being thankful for that is really a beautiful thing. So, yeah, I just work back through the day, and I'll tell you what. It is like a sleeping pill. I bet you I don't. I don't. I rarely get back before lunch, and I am out of and I have had trouble sleeping for years, but when I do that, it just settles my soul. So that can redeem a lot. Maybe you think your life means nothing. When you start being thankful for things, it puts it in a proper perspective that, oh wait, a lot of cool stuff does happen. My life has a lot of meaning. Sometimes situations we find redemption in them by finding the meaning in it. This is a beautiful blue. Oh, thanks, Karen and Rhonda. I read a book this summer called Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, and he was a um, psychiatrist, psychoanalyst, I don't know. He, he, he did his own uh, psychotherapy called logotherapy, and it was a, a lot of it was about bringing meaning to people. And um, there was a man who just could not get over that his wife had passed away. And he was, of course, he was mad at God. And, um, you know, as we tend to really dig blaming God when we can't change something. And um, uh, he, he was just, you know, could not get over it. And so Viktor Frankl... You know, he said to him, well, would you have wanted your wife to go through what you're going through? If, and by you passing away first, because one of you had to. And he said, no, I would have spared her that suffering. And he said, well, then there's your meaning. And the man was like, you're absolutely right. And he moved on. And he, he went on to live a happier life when he realized that what he was going through spared the person he loved most in the world from having to go through it. And I thought that is a beautiful, beautiful story. So a lot of times we can find redemption by finding the meaning. And sometimes it's easy to find it and sometimes it's not. But a lot of times it's simply we are sparing somebody else from going through that. I had a crumb under there. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I would recommend that book, by the way. He survived the uh, concentration camps in uh, Poland during World War II and went on to do a lot of wonderful things for the world. Oh, these... Um, I'm going to use that pretty green we had, we used the other day. So if you can find what to be thankful for, and you can find, the, you know, some meaning... Those are two things you can do to redeem a situation. Well, y'all, I'm liking this. I really am. 
All right, let's see what time we got. 7.25, so we've got 20 minutes, give or take a few, to finish this up. Tomorrow is Thursday, and McLeod does not have dance, so that's kind of our day off. And so we are headed to, we're going to take a nice drive through the mountains tomorrow. Probably going up to Cripple Creek. Oh, the ride up there is, I'm just going to tell you all, it's beautiful. I'm going to do my red in the corners. I do love the East Coast leaves with all the different colors. But the bright yellow of the aspens against the sky, the, there's just the blue of the sky here is like, you just can't even imagine. Um, you know that perfect blue of a fall sky that you don't, um, I remember, you know, you'd get it maybe 25% of the time, if that. Uh, you know, we would in Kentucky and, and Maryland, and it was just that, you know what I'm talking about, that pristine, clear, amazing blue. It's like the autumn is that every day here. And um, then with the yellow of the aspen leaves, and then the breeze, they just like flicker, they just flicker in the breeze, and it looks like the trees are these... They've just got the gold coins all over them. It's stunning. It, it, it sparkles. It's like the trees actually sparkle. So coming out here has been very healing for us. And we, nature, nature does that all the time. You know, nature is very good at that. Oop, I missed this little one here. We're going to head to the, uh, to, what was this color? Oh, it was just this kind of, it's almost a, it's orange, but it's kind of a salmon-y orange, isn't it? So what I'm kind of doing is, incorporating everything together. So I've got the red and then I did this red and then I did that orange with the red and I'll do the orange here and then the orange there and then I'll go to like whatever the next color is, the gold. So you can see how it kind of works its way down. So gratitude, meaning, and then uh, another thing to think about when you have a, you know, situation in your life that has been less than awesome is sometimes you just need to forgive yourself for whatever it is or forgive another person. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but I find it far easier to forgive other people than I do myself. It's like if I don't forgive myself, I won't do it again. But guess what? You can forgive yourself and just not do it again. It's okay. You have that much strength of will and that much commitment to your own life that you can decide not to do something again or, you know, change your path without beating yourself up. Forgiving others is, just takes a lot of will. I know for me, 
there's a lot of reasons to forgive people, but I'm going to tell you one of the self-centered ones is that I don't want somebody to have that much power over me. Because when I harbor something, and then I think about it, and I let it, I let it some, somewhat rule me. But when you can let it go and forgive, then it's no longer your burden. We've got this. All right, y'all. This is I'm liking this. I really am. of a goldy orange. And all the uh, pictures in Colors of Hope, they're all, you know, it's a square book. Sometimes, and I'm going to be a little provocative here, we have to forgive God. And I know you know what I mean. We blame him and say this shouldn't have happened. You know, somebody died or, you know, has been taken down with a, an illness and we don't admit that we're blaming God. But we feel like he could have stopped it. And whether he could have or not, it's not for you to know because we, you know, or why he didn't, because we don't. But we can forgive. Another lighter yellow. Y'all, we're coming into it. I'm finding these circles are very soothing. So gratitude, meaning, forgiveness, and for me, if I want to redeem something, then I do one, you can start by doing one change that will take you out of that pattern or that will make you... Um, feel more proactive so to redeem this we use the green but I, I did something and sometimes it just takes an act of your will to know that you can do something and that sets you on a different path just one thing. Just choose one thing in whatever area you want redeemed. One, one little piece of change. And start there. It doesn't have to be the whole ball of wax. Alright. This is going okay, y'all. And then finally... Oh... Really like it. I kind of like it with the white. I'm not gonna lie. I think if I put that green, oh, I don't know what to do. Any advice, anybody, what to put in between these circles? Should I just go ahead and maybe do the gray and the dark green and bring bring echoes of that out into it? I think maybe I should. And I think I'm going to do the dark green.
but it's not going to stay the dark green. And again, it's that old, it's that thing that really helped change me, that saying, life doesn't happen to me, it happens through me. And I like to think of myself as a conduit for the love of God. What do I do with these when I finish them? Um, well, I am scanning them to use them on my website um, but honestly Kelly I'm just putting them in a folder they could be framed I mean, you know uh, that's what my my hope is and I, 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 I address this in my introduction letter in the book that these are meant to be you know you can color them and then there's four of them in a series so I've got in this series there is a butterfly a dragonfly a beetle, and, oh gosh, some other kind of bug. <laughs> some other kind of flying bug. I, I don't know what it is. Um, and uh, But they're all in this format with the circles and, and all that. And so that you can actually frame them and then, um, you know, hang them in an arrangement of four pictures. Okay, now I'm going with the lighter green little bit lighter. It's this green here. Oh, thanks, Darlene. I appreciate that. I, I just, you know, I sp spent a little time uh, praying that whoever needs some encouragement will drop by and that they'll hear exactly something that might make their life happier and more joyful. And other than that, I've got no control over it. So all I can do is show up. Of course, most of life is just showing up, isn't it? But forgiving yourself is huge. I'm just going to go back to it. Do it. There's too many people walking around with self-imposed burdens on them. And it's time for that to go. Nobody needs that. I really like the way this green is working out, y'all. Yay! Ooh, I missed one. Oh, okay. Well... Darlene, if you can't add the photo, uh, put it on your own page, and uh, I'll come by and, you know, take a peek when I'm done. Bummer. I wish you could. I mean, that would be a really nice feature, Facebook, if you're listening, which you're probably not. <laughs> and then finally, the last little part is the green that we used on the butterfly. Oh my gosh, I forgot this entire bottom. And I forgot that too. All right. Well, we're we're doing it here. It's we're we're, we're figuring it out as we go.
Kelly, does your husband, if I don't know if you're still here, but does your husband still play the drums and the congas and all that? That was so cool. Hi, Susan. How are you, you cute thing yourself? What are we knitting these days? Susan is a unbelievably expert knitter. I don't know how she does it. There's so many creative people that I know. Oh my goodness, I'm so blessed. There's something for the thankful list at night. All the creative people in my life. Oh, I could go on for hours. A baby sweater, because there is not enough cute in my life. That's right. Well, you're working hard at school. All right. Everybody, here we are. And the final little thing, I'm going to leave that white, that little dot, because I do, I like it like that. All right. So that's our picture for tonight. And let me, uh, here we go. We'll just do one more little look at it. I'm going to flip the camera around. Here I am. Thank you so much for joining me. I had a ball. I really appreciate you all. And I hope that you have a wonderful evening and a great, uh, let's see, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. And then we'll see you here at Saturday if you have time and the inclination on In Living Color at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And then you do the math for your time zone. I love you. Take care. Love, joy, peace, and all good things to you. Bye-bye.